A sci-fi masterpiece, a must-see experience, ambitious and moving. Just a few ways a rival is being described, but what's it about? I'll leave that up to the stars. There are days that define your story beyond your life. Like the day they arrived. Signs of what might be called first contact. The objects measure at least... I'm Colonel G.T. Webber from Army Intelligence. Pack your bags. You're at the top of everyone's list when it comes to translations. Priority one. What do they want? Where are they from? You'll be reporting to me, but you'll be working with him when you're in the show. That's what they call him, the UFO. We're yeah. making our first contact with yes. aliens. Yes. And what's interesting is we we don't see a lot of of this life force mm -hmm. because you're the one that we're all watching. You and Jeremy Renner. Yeah, we're, they, they spend a lot of time focusing on the human reaction to the aliens rather than the aliens, which I like a lot, and sort of our interpretation of their behavior and their usage of our words, which is where my character comes in and tries to be like, look, we, we can't give them the words and then tell them to use them when they don't necessarily understand the intent of the words. So. I have no idea as a linguist how you figured all that out. <laughs> <laughs> to you, I mean, yeah, it, it was it was that's a little mind boggling. Yeah, well, the script does a good job with uh, sort of uh, with some of the like introductory ideas, which keeps me about at the level I'm comfortable with, you know. Okay. But I do, I I, I I get it because if you say um, you're giving me a tool, well, you know, a tool can be a weapon or a tool can be something productive. Not everyone is wired for what you're about to do. So what do they look like? You'll see soon enough. Every 18 hours, a door opens up. That's where we go in. It's time. Yeah, that just happened. What happens now? They arrive. They need to see me. Dr. Banks? Are you insane? It's a proper introduction. So there you were, uh, dealing with the Army as a physicist? That's right. I, I know you're a smart man, <laughs> but I didn't know you were that smart. Yeah, me either. <laughs> yeah, you know. How Did you have to get a little training to be, to, at least to, to believe what you were saying and talking about here? Uh, yeah, the mathematics part was, was, was easier because I, I studied, you know, uh, computer language, you know, so zeros and ones and binary was the easy part. It's like these, you know, this book was this thick of um, stuff that, you know, how do I, now, all I cared about was like, how do I make this emotional so then people care about it? Because talking, no matter what it is, it's like you want to bore people with intellect. So how do we make it emotionally smart? More objects have landed around the world. This is one of 12. I'm never going to be able to speak their words. Got two days. Figure something out. I am human. Their language. We need to make sure that they understand the difference between a weapon and a tool. Language is messy, and sometimes one can be both. Are you dreaming in their language? It's possible they're prodding us to fight among ourselves. This is just a way to force us to work together for once. It's more complicated than that. How is it more complicated? Russia just executed one of their own to keep their secret. Got 21 hours before they start global war. So how do we clarify their intentions? I go back in. This one will stay with you for a long, long time. So look for Arrival in your real-time theater.